Welcome back to What Time, the channel where the focus is on the NVIDIA Shield TV. With the recent addition of the NVIDIA Shield Tube streaming device and the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, we have the all new remote control. Initial reactions have been quite mixed, with many criticising the inclusion of the Netflix button. Whilst we can't physically change its looks, those of us that don't use Netflix can remap the button to open different applications. Applications, plural there. Today we'll look at remapping the Netflix button to up to three different applications from that one button. If you like what you see, you can help us out by subscribing to the channel. Let's get stuck in! <laughs> So the first thing we can do is to open up Google Play Store. Go up and do a search. Button Mapper. First option comes up, Button Mapper by Flower2. We're going to click on that and we're going to install it. Just wait a moment, that'll quickly download and install and then we'll be ready to go. OK, we'll open that up. Button Mapper's accessibility service is used to detect when buttons are pressed on your device so they can be remapped. OK, we have to go into the accessibility. Come down to Device Preferences and scroll all the way down to Accessibility. Button Mapper and click that and Enable. OK, so we're straight into Button Mapper. We're going to come down to Add Buttons, Add Button. We're going to press the, the Netflix button, and there it's been added. Now we're going to go in and configure it. Pro features are reserved for supporters of the app. Upgrading to Pro unlocks all features and themes. Good idea to get this app. However, at the moment, you can just go in there, pressing No Thanks, and you're straight in there. So. We're going to customize, single tap, and we're going to select application. We'll come down to Netflix. Okay, single tap is for Netflix. For double flat bolt, for double tap, we're going to configure. In my case, I'm going to configure it to Prime Video. You could do Plex or whatever you want. Prime Video is my choice. And then for the long press, I'm going to configure YouTube. OK, that's all done. We'll come out of there. So let's test it out. We click on the Netflix button once. Netflix, home. And then we're going to double tap it. Prime video, home. And then we're going to long press it. And YouTube comes up. And let's go back to home. Right. All done. It works. As I said, you can configure it to whatever you want. You don't have to have Netflix as your first option. If you don't have Netflix, use something else. Disney, Disney Plus or whatever. I should add that this remote control will work with the 2015 and the 2017 models. You can re reconfigure the Netflix button as I have just shown. However, at the moment, the mm, hamburger button on the top right-hand corner doesn't work and can't be reconfigured in this way. But I'm not saying that we won't be able to in the future. I've also tested this remote control with the 2015 model and I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised. So what are you going to map your button to? Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, Disney Plus when it comes out, Spotify, Cody, you tell us. That's it for now. We'll catch you when you catch us in the next one. Toodle pip.